A ton of rain sweeping from the Midwest to the East Coast. Play is suspended in New York City, also in Cleveland. And we have a match here on our hands between Wong and Ekaterina. Alex and Drover from the Federation. Wong took the first set. Wong, if you're not familiar with her, she's a good baseline. She's got underrated power. She has good two-way play. She's a junior double slam champion. She also won the French Open this year in doubles. She's a solid player, guys. Three aces in the match so far, four double faults, getting 63% of her first serves in play, only winning 51% of those. Two for four on break points. Alex and Drover, though, after dropping the first set, she came storming back, ladies and gentlemen. How about a cream cheese bagel? No cream cheese donut, whatever you want to call it. She took the first set, dropped the first set. She took the second set, six love. Now we're on serve here in the third set. Alexandrova looks like she's flirting with the break point, to be honest with you. She might get the break here. Four aces for Alexandrova, five double faults. Getting 60% of her first serves in play, winning 80% of those. Wong has been attacking the second serve, winning 60% of those successfully. Alex and Drove was four for six on break points. So the second set really showed what she's capable of. And look, she's having a quietly good season. Not a ton of wins, 24-17, 25-18, if she loses this match. But listen, guys, Alex and Drova, she did win her toes in Bosch. She's quietly making semifinals. And look. Nothing fancy. She's quiet. She handles her business. And when her forehand is on, she could really beat anyone in, in, on tour. She's dropped a few spots. She's barely under rank 40, but I do consider her a top 20 player. If she can get a win here, she's got a chance to win this tournament. There's not too many heavy hitters left in this tournament. She's got to be the favorite to win if she gets past Wong. We'll see.